Hey guys, another C10 update. It is, I don't know, middle of March 2020. And the latest edition is a low car 23 inch nostalgic shifter. Um, it's a nostalgic bend, which you can see right there. It is the see on the top there it's the black anodized knob the way it works is let me switch hands here the way it works is to shift gears you push that button in um, this is a top floor mount the only hole you have to make is this slot right here which you find your range of motion once this arm is on you center punch it you drill two holes you take a reciprocating saw blade um, off a jigsaw and you cut these straight you do have to drill four other holes these two as well as two on the top side there um, I'm at a point where I'm done with mounting everything on the top. I have not dug into the bottom side. I did run into an issue which kind of stalled me out. Um, my transmission pan is an aftermarket transmission pan. It's a cast aluminum pan. And because of that, the mounting uh, for the cable, this is a cable uh, driven shifter instead of a linkage. I wanted the ability to mount floor mount this wherever I wanted to and have minimal um, minimal holes in the floor so I, I chose the cable but the cable mounting system mounts off the transmission pan bolts and because it's a cast aluminum transmission pan it is a little bit thicker wall and I don't have the clearance so I don't think I'm going to be able to make it work unless I make my own bracket which is an option um, but we'll see i might just go back to steel steel pan so anyway like i said 23 inch nostalgic ben chrome thing is really nice really well put together pretty straightforward on the install very thorough directions um like i said i'm done with everything on the top side minus the boot and the cover up but the way it works, the way it works here, let me see if, is this view any better or is this worse? That's worse. The way it works is right now we're in park and I wanted it, I wanted this, this section right here, I wanted it 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor, perpendicular to the ground. So I bumped it up. I also wanted it um, as far away from the seat as possible i have the original buddy bucket seats and i have a good distance here i don't know maybe a good foot so the way it works is as it's as it's in park you have to push the button down and now it's loose see it catches there push the button down i can get over that hump and now i can pull it back i'm in reverse right there okay in reverse and now if I want to go to neutral I'm in neutral drive second and I missed it missed one somehow I missed one I slipped by it but if I'm in first and I want to bump bump shift from first to second to drive I'm in first I don't need to push a button in to go from first gear to second gear to drive I can't drop it into neutral after that so neutral from neutral if I want to go from neutral to reverse I don't have to drop it in I don't have to push the button for that now I'm locked in reverse actually I'm missing one I'm explaining that wrong I'm in park I'm in reverse 
to park. Reverse, neutral, drive. Huh. Oh, I'm missing I'm missing one. Nonetheless, I'll figure it out once the linkage is hooked up. But I guess the moral of the story is I didn't know it was cool. I didn't it's cool, but I didn't know that you're able to bump shift it. So once I'm in first, I can go to second and drive. And that should be my position when I'm driving. So all in all, absolutely great quality. It's kind of fingerprinted up right now. But the chrome is beautiful. Um, there's everything on the floor. This right here, which it's hard to see right now because the lighting's crappy in here, but this is your neutral safety switch. Um, right now, yeah, it's in neutral. It's pushing that button in. So, all right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Oh, one other thing vibration. My truck right now has a small block 400 in it. I also have the turbo 400 transmission. Um, it's mounted on a steel floor. I know I read some things in the forums about guys worrying about this vibration. Um, right now the truck has open headers, but I'll start it. Just to show you guys. There's the air compressor, but... I'll start it to show you guys that it does not transfer vibration. I might be shaking, <laughs> but the shifter isn't. Alright guys, thanks for checking it out. Um, until next time, sorry this got a little long. Subscribe, like, share if you want to share. But um, hopefully this helps somebody. More videos to come. I'll post some on the bottom side here once I get to it. Thanks.